Hey everybody, uh, this is Mr. MathBlog. This uh, lesson is on circumference of a circle. So here's our, our common core strand for our most grooviest math teachers. And our, our, our question here is how do we find this circumference of a circle? Okay, so here's our circle right here. Everybody has uh, drawn circles, seen circles. So the circle is a set of all points that are equidistant from the fixed point called the center. So this point is whatever this distance is, let's pretend like it's four. Okay, this point is 4. This point is 4. All of these points around here are 4 units away from the center. That's what that means right there, okay? So a radius is any segment that has an endpoint at the center. <clears throat> and you've probably seen this before. Here, so at the center, and the other endpoint is on the circle right there, okay? So that's a radius. So a diameter, you guys is two of the radiuses put together, radii, plural, put together. So um, a diameter has both endpoints on the edge of the circle, and it goes through the center right there, okay? All right, so the circumference, you guys, is the perimeter of a circle. It's a fancy name for a perimeter. So it's the, the distance around the circle right there, and that's that's what we're talking about in this lesson here. So, so circumference, you guys, circumference of a circle, and we call it C, is uh, either pi times d or pi times uh, or two times pi times r, where d is the diameter and r is the radius. Okay, so sometimes we will use uh, pi as 3.14. Some books like to use the ratio 22 sevenths uh, for the value of pi. Those are both approximate answers for pi, and um, either one is okay for us for now, you guys. <clears throat> Excuse me. I like using pi when you get into later math, higher math classes. Pi is an exact answer. This is an approximate answer. This is a, an approximate answer also, but 22 divided by 7 is about 3.14 and some change, okay? All right, so here we go. So an irrigation sprinkler waters a, a circular region with a radius of 14 feet. Find the circumference of the region um, uh, that's watered by the sprinkler. So remember, 2 pi r, uh, or pi times diameter. In this case, we're, we're using uh, the radius, so we're gonna do 2 pi r. Now we're gonna use this for pi, so it's gonna be 2 times this times the radius of 14 right there, okay? So here it is right here, okay? <clears throat> and then uh, we can cross cancel some stuff right here. So 7 goes into 7 once, 7 goes into 14 twice. I think that's what I did. Yeah, that's what I did. And then I'm just going to multiply, okay? So, so I have 2 times 22 is 44, times 2 is 88, so 88 uh, feet, okay? So circumference is in, in units, so it's going to be 88 feet right there. Okay, <clears throat> and this question says, uh, when is it useful to use 22 sevenths instead of 3.14 for pi? Okay, well, it's useful if we have a diameter that's a multiple of 7, because here we had a diameter that was a multiple of 7, and 22 sevenths, the 7 goes into 14 twice, and it gets rid of uh, that, that we don't have any um, uh, decimals. If we used 3.14, It'd be 2 times 3.14 um, yeah, times uh, 14, and we get a decimal answer. So that's when it's useful to use that, when uh, the radius is a multiple of uh, 7. All right, so let's find the circumference of this circle to the nearest hundredth, okay? So here, this time, they, it looks like it's the diameter. So it, um, if it looks like it's going through the center, we have to assume it is, okay? So that's the diameter. So it's going to be pi times the diameter. And then we'll use 3.14 on this one because there's no multiple of 7 right there. So if we plug that in, we get about 34.54 centimeters, okay? All right, so um, given the circumference of a circle, we can approximate C uh, uh, formula to find the radius or the diameter of the circle by working backwards, okay? And you're thinking, what? What does that mean? Well, here we go. So a circular pond has a circumference of 628 feet, okay? So imagine... <clears throat> We got this circle woo, all the way around. And so our circumference formula is 2 pi r or pi times diameter. It depends on if they're talking about the radius or the diameter. So here they're talking about the radius. So I'm going to use 2 pi r, okay? So the circumference is 628. That's going to equal 2 
times pi times the radius. Okay, and so this model boat is moving directly across the pond uh, along the radius at a rate of five feet per second. How long does it take the boat to get from the edge uh, of the pond to the center? Okay, so we have to figure out the radius first, you guys, to figure out, and then we'll use this speed right here and do a little division right there. Okay, so there's our circumference right there. And so remember, 2 pi r is going to be our formula. So plug in 628 for the C and 2 times 3.14, which is 6.28. And we'll divide it both sides by 6.28. And we get the radius to be about 100. Okay, so this is going to be about 100 feet. Okay, in this pond. So if that's 100 feet, and this model boat is moving 5 feet per second, then we take this 100 and we're going to divide it by the speed of 5 feet per second. Okay, so, um, so uh, now we're going to uh, divide that right there. And we get uh, 100 divided by 5 is 20, so it's going to take the boat about 20 seconds to get to that center of the pond, okay? All right, let's try another one here, you guys. So anyways, after finding the radius of 100, Dante checks the answer by multiplying it by 6 uh, and comparing it with the given circumference. Now, remember, the circumference was uh, 628, so explain why uh, his estimation works. Okay, <clears throat> well, remember, the radius was um, uh, 100, so what he did was is he... He did 6 times 100, and that gave us uh, the circumference to be about 600, and that was close to 628. So, so that told him that uh, that was a, a reasonable answer right there. So that's, that's what that's talking about. So suppose the model boat was traveling at 4 feet per second. So how long would it take the boat to get to the edge of the pond? Okay. Well, remember, the radius is still 100, so it's going to become 100 divided by 4, which is um, going to be 25 seconds right there. Okay. All right, let's do another one. So a circular garden, garden has circumference of 44 feet. Larry's digging a straight line along, along the diameter. So this is where we're going to go. Circumference equals uh, diameter times um, t um, times pi. Okay, it's either 2 pi r or pi times diameter. Okay, and then the garden at, the, at a rate of 7 yards per hour. So same problem except we're going to use the pi times diameter formula. Use 3.14, so we're going to divide by 3.14, and we get the diameter to be 14. And since it's going 7 yards per hour, then we're going to do um, uh, uh, 14 divided by 7, so it's going to give us about uh, uh, 2 hours, okay? All right, you guys, I, I hope that lesson uh, makes sense, and take care.